What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. My name's Nathan. And this is Full Throttle Cars. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the 2020 Ford Mustang Convertible. Alright, so under the hood of this 2020 Mustang is a 2.3 liter inline four cylinder engine. Now, this engine pushes out 310 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. Now, in this EcoBoost motor, we do have a turbo. You can see it right down in there, I believe. And that really helps push the acceleration. Whenever Nick and I were in the, in the car and he pushed on the gas, we felt and heard the turbo kick in and the car took off. All right guys, so a couple styling things I'll show you. We've got pretty cool lights up here. You can see it's got like the three LED uh, bar design there on each side for the daytime running lights. And then actually I can click that again real quick. I just click the unlock button on the key and that comes on. And then you've got the turn signals down here, I believe, which are really cool. I like how they're integrated into the separate part of the bumper than the main headlight. And then you've also got that air intake duct right in there. I don't know if that focused on there enough to see it. One interesting thing I just noticed on the headlights, on the side of the headlight right here, you've got the little Mustang logo in the side there. There you go. You can see it pretty well there. Moving around, we've got pretty nice looking wheels on here from the factory. Also decent sized brakes as well. I'm sure the uh, performance variants and uh, definitely the V8 has larger brakes. But overall, this is a very good looking car. I do like the new updated bumper design. I believe this is new for 2020 uh, in the 2020 model year where you have kind of the cuts in on the side there. It looks very aggressive even though this is only the four cylinder Mustang. We've also got some hood vents right here. Again, something you might think they would only leave for the V8 Mustang, but it's also here on the four cylinder, adding to that very aggressive look. Just another styling aspect. This does have a small trunk mounted lip spoiler here in the back. It's definitely not very large, but it does add to the look a little bit. I think it definitely looks better than if it wouldn't be there. So one thing to note is that the Mustang is actually a four-seater convertible. You can see there are two seats back here. They are trimmed in the same nice leather. They are pretty deep looking bucket seats as you can see. There is a decent amount of leg room over there, but that is where I sit and I'm pretty short. Over here you can see this is where Nathan was sitting and there is not a lot of leg room. So if you are considering this car, just know that unless the people sitting in the back are very small, then it's not going to be a very comfortable experience for them. So keep that in mind. It's probably only good for somebody in the back seat if they're only taking short trips. Just to show you guys how crammed the back seat is, Nathan is going to attempt to sit back there where he would normally sit. So let's see how much room Nathan actually has back there. Maybe I'll be surprised and there'll actually be a decent amount of room, but um, we did leave the seat right where Nathan was sitting. So you gotta pull that lever down again. Yep, and pull that back. So what do you think? What do you think? I think that I would uh, go crazy in about 15 minutes in the back of this thing. So if there was anybody remotely large sitting in front of me, this would not work. If there's anybody remotely large sitting in the back at all, it's not going to work. All right, guys. So if you are looking at this car as a potential car, but are concerned that there's not enough trunk space, there's actually a ton of trunk space back here. You can see it's pretty deep. It goes all the way up to the rear seats back there and you could definitely fit a golf bag you can see you've got a light actually in the back corner over there but there's those indents in that side and then also in this side to allow for enough space that you could probably fit a golf bag in there if you really wanted to all right so something that i want to mention about the exterior look of this vehicle is how big the front end actually is you can see that it has a big motor and the way that you can see that is it is long all the way from the windshield to the headlights here and it remains tall from the windshield to the headlights here 
Okay, so before we actually hop into the interior of this vehicle, something that I want to mention is right when you open the door, you're greeted with somewhat of a sign of luxury. You can see that there is a lit up Mustang right here. So you have the Mustang logo and then the word lit up right there. All right guys, so we're gonna jump onto the inside now. Take a look at this screen. A pretty cool animation comes up when you start it up. I'm not gonna fully start it, just turn on the accessory power. But you can see you got the Mustang logo that goes up and um, it's dinging at me, but um, that'll go away in a moment. You can see here we've got the infotainment set up, audio, climate. It is a little bit slow, I notice. The animation for tapping it is okay, but then after you tap it, you can definitely tell a delay between when you hear that noise from me tapping it and then actually going to the next screen. This does not have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, I don't believe. We can check here, but no, it does not. All right, so some of my favorite features on the interior, check out these levers down here. We've got uh, the four-way lights right here. Then you've got traction control. And then this is actually steering feel, which is an interesting thing that this has. So we'll try that out when we get into driving. And then you have the different modes. One of my favorite features of this gauge cluster up here is this vacuum and boost gauge. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus very well on that or not. But it's a really neat feature to watch while you're driving and see the turbo spool up as you're getting into the higher RPMs. Then you've got a pretty cool blue backlight on the uh, tachometer here and the speedometer as well. So an interesting thing in the gauge cluster here, you've got ground speed there on the speedometer, which is an interesting nod to the P51 Mustang plane of which this car is kind of inspired by. So you have ground speed since we were here on the ground and not up in a plane. This is an interesting little Easter egg that they put in here. So I'll take you through these gauges right here. You've got the vacuum boost, the cylinder head temp, which is an interesting one, inlet air temp, engine oil temp, trans oil temp, the voltage, and the air fuel ratio, and then back to the vacuum boost. So there's lots of configurable gauges in here, which is another really neat feature. Okay, so another little thing that I want to mention about the interior of this vehicle and about this, this premium trim is that it comes with these uh, heated and cooled seats. Those are very nice for both exceptionally hot and exceptionally cold days. One thing I want to mention about the interior, I really do like the overall aesthetic in here. You've got these circle air vents that are really nice looking and the circle theme is kind of carried over a lot in here. You've got the circle around the Mustang logo, the circle on the gauge clusters, but there is a lot of circle dials in cars generally, but they all have this nice like silverish looking trim. You've got the nice quality feel to these volume and tune knobs. Also you have these little dials down here that all have a nice, very satisfying click. And overall the interior of this car feels very nice, especially considering you can buy these used for a little over $20,000. We're now gonna get a cold start on a 2020 premium EcoBoost Mustang. All right guys, so I have it in Sport Plus mode right now with the manual shift. We'll get a good acceleration out of here for you guys. up to about 45 50-ish right there I shifted around 45 to uh, 5,000 rpms 4,500 to 5,000 rpms there's a boost gauge up here that we'll show you guys in a moment which is a really cool feature on this EcoBoost since it is a turbo you got the boost gauge vacuum slash boost gauge right there so that's a pretty cool feature we'll show you you can hear the turbo whistle on that thing All right, guys, I just want to show you this boost gauge in action. I have the uh, car in Sport Plus right now. We are at our red light here. So I will just get a little acceleration so we can see that boost gauge in action. All right, guys, we're at our red light. I'm just going to give you a little acceleration here. We're in Sport Plus mode. wasn't full throttle for sure just 
a little bit of an acceleration to give you guys a little bit of that uh, engine noise. And one thing interesting I want to show, or I wanted you to hear, is a lot of the engine noise you hear in here is actually from up front at the engine rather than an exhaust note. I don't know if that's on all Mustangs, if you hear that a lot more in the engine rather than an exhaust or maybe an aftermarket exhaust uh, would open it up and give it a different exhaust note and hear more from the back. I'm not sure, I just thought that was an interesting thing that I noticed. It's got a very nice little grumble to it, this four cylinder does, but it's just really interesting to hear it all coming from right up there. All right guys, so I bumped the uh, steering mode into sport and I've been driving with it a little bit. We haven't gotten any twisty roads or anything, but I can definitely feel it tightened up that steering feel and it does feel very sporty along with that engine note. It is a pretty fun, sporty car. So we will get another little acceleration out of here just to give you guys another little listen to that engine note. All right guys, so just as we're cruising right here, you can see I'm actually kind of talking really loudly. I don't really need to, it's pretty quiet in here. We're only going about 50 right now. The top is up, uh, but we'll get some clips with the top down as well so that way you guys can hear what the sound is like then. But in here, it's really not very loud. You never know with a convertible top if it's gonna be a little bit louder than maybe a coupe would be since this is the fabric up top rather than a metal like insulated roof. But that's just something I wanted to mention that it is pretty quiet here and you can talk in a very normal voice. You can also do that whenever the top is down. We felt like it hasn't actually been that loud in here. All right guys, so kind of a performance aspect of this. It does have pretty decent throttle response, even just driving in completely normal mode right now. I'll just give it a little gas. And it's got pretty good pick up and go and that's pretty immediate whenever I step on it. Not 100% immediate, but pretty good for just a normal mode and automatic as well. All right, so something that I wanna mention as the passenger in this premium trim Mustang is that it does feel pretty luxurious. So right off the bat sitting here, you see this, uh, this nice Mustang 55 year sticker. And then there's this like silvery plastic material that gives it somewhat of a luxury look. It does look pretty nice there. And then sitting here in the passenger seat, I do feel pretty comfortable in these leather seats that they do hug you a little bit. Uh, not so much that I feel like I'm in the 350Z where you feel like it would hug you even if you really started to go left and right, but enough so that it still feels luxurious but sporty at the same time. All right guys, so to put the top down on this, it's really easy. The car doesn't even have to be fully on. All you do is hit the start stop button once, so accessory power is on. Then you pull down this latch, turn it like this, 90 degrees, lift up slightly, and then right up here, you hit the up button and the top will open. All right guys, so that is going to do it for this video today. If you enjoyed the review on this 2020 Mustang, let us know what you thought down in the comments. And with that said, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.